Hello and welcome to our channel in this video we are counting down on 5 best kidnapping movies according to reddit and those who enjoy watching kidnapping movies must give it a try and leave a comment below about how many films you have already seen from this list or intend to see now let us get started. 5 Breakdown 1997 Directed by Jonathan Mostow A couple narrowly escapes colliding with a truck while driving through cross-country. The truck driver shows hostility but the couple move on after apologizing. Unfortunately their jeep breaks down on a vacant road. Wife accepts a ride from a passing truck to get to a nearby diner and call for help while the husband stays near their car. The husband is surprised to find that the battery connections were tampered and aft rectifying the connections he drives to the diner only to get a shock that no one has seen his wife. He sets on the road thinking that his wife must have gone to the nearby town but after seeing the trucker on the road, he forces the trucker to stop. The trucker claims he has never seen the couple and after searching the truck along with a sheriff, the trucker is allowed to go. The sheriff advises the husband to report a missing person's complaint in the nearby station telling the husband that maybe his wife must have left him. For I saw the devil 2010 directed by Kim Ji Woon on a dark road, Taxi driver Kyung Chul, Choi Min Sik, comes across a scared female motorist stranded in a broken down vehicle. He pulls over, but not to help her. When the woman's head is discovered in a local river, her devastated fiancé, Kim Soo Hyun, Lee Byung Hun, a trained secret agent, becomes obsessed with hunting down her killer. Once he finds Kyung Chul, things get twisted. After brutally beating the murderer, Kim lets him go free, and a demented game of cat and mouse begins. 3 Misery in 1990 directed by Rob Reiner after a serious car crash, novelist Paul Sheldon, James Kahn, is rescued by former nurse Annie Wilkes, Kathy Bates, who claims to be his biggest fan. Annie brings him to her remote cabin to recover, where her obsession takes a dark turn when she discovers Sheldon is killing off her favorite character from his novels. As Sheldon devises plans for escape, Annie grows increasingly controlling, even violent, as she forces the author to shape his writing to suit her twisted fantasies. Two Room 2015 directed by Lenny Abrahamson The film begins with a young boy with really long hair named Jack, Jacob Tremblay, telling us how he came into the possession of his mother, who we only know as Ma, Brie Larson, via TV people in outer space and him falling from heaven. He wakes up and says hi to all the things in the tiny ramshackle room he shares with his mother, the chair, the cupboard, the ink blot on the carpet. Jack is excited because today is his fifth birthday. His mom tells him they're going to make him a birthday cake. They go throughout their normal day she leads him through yoga practice in their tiny bathroom. She gets him to exercise by telling him to touch this wall, no, I meant this wall. Ma notes a bad toothache. One Old Boy 2003 directed by Park Chan-wook Oh dae Su, an obnoxious drunk abducted on a rainy night in 1988, wakes up in a strange, windowless hotel room. Kept under lock and key for an unknown reason, Oh dae Su's invisible captors keep him fed and systematically sedated to avert suicide, providing only a color television to keep him company. And after 15 long years in captivity, Perplexed Oh Dae Su finds himself released. Now, his pitiless abductors encourage Oh Dae Su to track down the ones behind the mysterious kidnapping and finally get his brutal, longed for revenge on the unknown tormentor. Who would hate Oh Dae Su so much that he would deny him a quick and clean death? So that was the list, guys. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching our list of the best kidnapping movies according to Reddit. And for more updates, make sure you subscribe to our channel. The handle is right in front of you.